So in terms of oestrogen and mood, um, we definitely uh, have uh, done research and noted others research who uh, talk about the modulation of the neurotransmitter systems East by estradiol being a particularly good neuroprotective agent. The um, issue though is estradiol can regulate activation in a number of different brain regions and again that fluctuation in the vulnerable woman can actually cause the, the problems of depression and so on. Uh, estrogen is a really good hormone but it's non-specific so it's almost like putting chocolate sauce on some ice cream it sort of gets into the nice um, crevices and so when we're using this strategy of trying to increase the regulation of estradiol in the CNS it's not specifically targeting one particular neurotransmitter. Allopregnanolone concentrations, again, we're looking at this in, in great detail, not just in PMDD, but in other. Um, and again, what we're finding is that um, the progesterone levels are very sensitive in terms of the, the creation of mood disturbance, but in dose. So I'll speak more about that when we come to the pill study, which um, is now. So hormone contraceptives uh, have been you know, wonderful for women to control their reproductive life. But the, the relationship between mood and oral contraceptives is very significant and not well known. And this is an issue because uh, we think it's a big factor in, in some of the novel, uh, sorry, some of the de novo depression that we see in young women or uh, exacerbation of depression in, in vulnerable women who already have depression. So our study, and I won't go through all of the um, aims and, and uh, other things, but again, it's, this is an observational study. Um, and I'll cut to the chase that in a sample size now of 273 women, um, the significant differences were found in the um, objective and subjective measures of depression. But the bottom line is that the low dose estradiol pills, that's the 20 microgram pills, that's um, Yaz, were really associated with a lot more depression. The normal dose pills, that's 30 micrograms, were better but the older pills, particularly with the older progesterones, were really associated with a lot more depression. So Levelin, as I said, was the most common pill, and that was associated with considerable depression, um, as was uh, Yasmin. And the problems with Yasmin, which has got 30 micrograms of estradiol, but drospirinone as its, as its uh, progestin, is that it creates rage because the progesterone there is much more androgenic-like and the rage response in someone who already has some other reasons going on is accentuated. So Yaz is a problem because of the 20 micrograms estrogen. Yasmin is a problem because of the, um, the rage. So from our studies and clinical practice, we really um, do suggest that uh, Zoli is so far the only one we've got out there, and that's terrible that after all these years there really isn't the perfect pill um, that actually helps, uh, that doesn't create mood problems. The progesterone only contraceptives are the worst in terms of mood because there isn't the neuroprotective agent of estradiol. So these are the mini pills. This is particularly the biggest depression we found was with Implanon which is the indwelling straw that is uh, ETA etanorgestrel and um, it has a particular depressive profile and Depo-Provera which of course we used in our um, chronically psychotic patients etc um, is also one of the more depressogenic agents. So again not all women are going to have uh, reactions that are adverse to the pills um, but be prepared to take this history in your practice for your women who are of reproductive age because it may be the X factor that has just tipped her over into a depression and sometimes we're actually um, able to help women considerably by changing their contraception. Um, there was a big Danish pill study that was done with the big registers that they're very good at keeping in Denmark and um, in my correspondence with uh, Charlotte uh, Scovland, uh, exactly the same results from a very, very large study that we're finding with our clinical trial, uh, observational trial. So there is lots of lines of evidence to show the same outcome. So progesterone only was bad. 
the progesterone only and, and the pill in general was particularly bad in adolescents in terms of developing depression. It got a little less um, depressogenic as the women got older, but very much a problem in the adolescent. So this is something for us to think about.